lot to get kids exposure to all the different aspects that they're going to see in an engineering school and in an engineering discipline. So we had them working and looking at tools in the shop, working with SolidWorks. One of the key things is seeing where your, your computer aided design goes from on the computer to a physical thing you can hold. So we had them do a lot of activities that involved that process. Uh, one of the things that I thought I taught the students was this idea that you can try things and it's okay if it's not right, it's okay if you're, you know, not following the directions in some sort of instruction manual. It's kind of how people do it in the real world, just trying things and figuring them out until they work. I'm targeting the students that don't know much about engineering, just want to learn a little bit about it, try to figure out what it is. So and what I mainly hope is that they go away with a broader and better understanding of engineering. Um, realize that it's not just bridges or it's not just airplanes or it's not just one thing. It's very multi-dimensional. We had a session on Arctic albedo. They actually went outside and measured albedo, which is a reflective property of different surfaces. Marcus Testdorf came in. He deals with optics. He took them to the computer lab and they uh, created morays, which were the students enjoyed doing that. They got to pick their own photos to use and create these optical illusions, basically. Chris Levy always comes in and talks about Arduino to give them a little exposure to Arduino. We did some great tours of the different labs here at Bayer. Um, so it was wonderful for, I think, for the students to see not just my perspective on engineering, but others here at Bayer, um, their perspective and see the broad range of what people do. I became interested in biomedical engineering when we toured all of the awesome labs that are here and we realized what the machines here are capable of doing. And also when we use the SOLIDWORKS program here and we realized like everything that you can do with it, anything you can think of in your mind, you can create. 